Hello class. Um, hope you guys are doing okay this morning, staying safe and sane. I know I kind of miss going out to eat or going to the movies. So just being able to hang out with people. So I'm sure you guys are probably uh, doing your best to stay sane. So if you guys want to talk, please just shoot me a message. And I'm happy to talk with you guys. Um, now on to the best part of your day is watching these videos and learning about your computer. I know it is. Probably not actually. Anyway, um, so we're going to do a little bit of review about subnets and subnet masks. So again, as you guys know, to find out your IP address and your subnet masking default gateway, you open up command prompt and you type IP config. And you can see right here that I have an IP address of 192.168.1.14. My subnet mask is a slash 24 because 255.255.255.0 can be shorthanded to a slash 24 and my default gateway which is my router is 192.168.1.1 so I've, I've taken the liberty of going into my router getting some information um, I don't want to log in now because my wife is also working from home and I don't want to disrupt her internet um, so I don't want to accidentally do something so this is my computer, not my computer, my router, hardware, firmware, all that stuff. I blocked out my MAC address and my IP address because um, I don't want, since this is going on the internet, I don't want that information going out there. So, but notice my subnet mask is a 255.255.255.0 and I also connection DHCP. That means it's given an automatic IP address from the internet. I haven't hard coded my router with a public facing IP address. That was, what's that saying? So, so this slash 24 with the help of our subnetting table, a slash 24, 255.255.255.0, set on notation slash 24. I've borrowed zero bits, so I have one subnet. There's 256 IPs in that subnet with 254 hosts usable. So that means anything that connects to my network that has an IP address of 192.168.1. something will be able to tech talk to the internet. Um, doesn't matter if it has a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. It will still connect because my router is being told that anything that can talk to a 192.168.1.0 has an IP address that anything that my any device that my that has an IP address of 192.168.1. blank can talk to my router so I'm going to show you guys I'm going to demonstrate that for you guys now so what you guys need to do in order to change your Wi-Fi settings your IP address and things like that you're going to go to internet access right here and you're going to click on network and internet settings then we're going to go to change adapter options here and then this is everything you have to talk to the internet or wireless communication. So I have Bluetooth, I have um, some uh, work VPN, personal VPN. I can't remember what that is. That's for Wireshark. I Ethernet and my Wi-Fi. So I obviously, none of these are working except that one. Uh, uh, but So I wanna right click on my Wi-Fi go to properties you guys can basically ignore everything here the thing that you guys want is the internet protocol version for excuse me at TCP IPv4 and we're gonna click properties and now here we go we can type in following IP addresses notice if I do manual IP subnet default gateway I also have to do DNS servers if I want to connect to the internet so I'm going to go 192.168.1.234. It automatically populates my subnet mask. And if I did 10.0.0.1, wait, See, it automatically, depending on, because there are different types of IP addresses, uh, different classes, 
10.0.0.0 or 1, it kind of guesses because 10.0.0.0 is typically an enterprise um, IP address for very, very large organizations because you can have 0 to 255 here, 0 to 255 here, and 0 to 255 here. As an IP address, that's 256 to the third power IP addresses, which is like 65,000. I can't remember. 65,536 or something like that. Obviously, we don't want that, so I'm going to type in 192.168.1.234. And because it was already populated, I now have to type it in again 255. My default gateway again is 192.168.1.1. And my DNS servers, domain name system. A DNS server is basically the phone book of the internet. So instead of having to memorize the IP address for YouTube, Facebook, and Amazon, which would be, you know, 96.8.42.138, I just made it up. You can just remember Facebook. Um, and so what it does is that your computer takes that information, Facebook, goes to this server, and that server looks, okay, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Okay, here's the IP address for Facebook, go you're going to go to that IP address, which is really cool. Certain DNS servers do different things. So typically, um, you just use your default ones from your internet service provider. You can use Google. Google has free ones. And this is the 8.8.4.4. So 8.8.8.8 is a free DNS server owned by Google. You can use Cloudflare, which is I think 1.1.1.1. And then 1.0.0.1, which they brag faster internet than your typical service provider. You can also um, open DNS. So if you want rudimentary filtering, uh, not rudimentary, it's actually pretty good filtering on a device, you can come in here and look up um, open, open DNS. IP address. So you can then type in 20867 20867.222.222 Then you come down here, 208, 67, 2, 20. And so now, once I click OK, you'll have a rudimentary, not rudimentary, I don't know why I keep using that word, a pretty good filter for this device using Wi Fi. Now, what you can do is you can go into your router and tell your router, hey, router use these IP addresses and then everything on your network will get filtered so and that's a, that's that's totally free you can create an account and then um, if you create an account you can then log in and have like hey for my computer you can link your router with your account and then say hey I want zero gambling on my on my network I want zero weapons I want zero this I want zero that all that stuff so it's really cool um, so I'm going to put these to Google's free ones. So we're going to see if my connection um, still works. Now, real quick, I screwed up on this. If you don't click close here, it doesn't save your IP settings. So now we're going to check here, IP config. I got a 234. Let's see if I can get to um, yahoo.com. Okay, I still have internet. Awesome. Now what happens if I change? What happens if I change this to like a 
248. That I believe gives me eight IP addresses. Whoa. Notice, this is important. My computer is telling me that my default gateway, which is a 192.168.1.1, is not in the same subnet as my computer IP address because of this mask, which is totally correct. With a dot 40, with a 248, we look here, we find 248. That means I have eight IPs in each subnet, six are usable. So my so my router has to be according to this, according to that subnet mask, um, my router needs to be within a few IP addresses, give or take, of my computer. It's not and it's just warning me, hey, be careful. I'm gonna click yes, click close. And now when I go to Yahoo, let's go CNN.com. I still have internet. And that's because my router can still talk to this computer. But as soon as I change this to a two, even if I have the same subnet mask as before, I get the same error. Yep, close. Now let's go to abc.com. Hmm. No internet. And that's because my router no can talk to anything yeah no internet my router can talk to anything that is a 192.168.1. blank subnet or ip address it cannot talk to anything else so with my ip address being dot two it's not going to work so if you guys ever get to a point where you're like i forgot everything like i don't know how to fix this super super easy there we go you just click get the dns server address automatically get the ip address automatically okay close and then we go back refresh and once communication starts talking between there we go boom American Idol no thanks um, so that was it for today I am going to give you guys an assignment on on campus but the question for today to make sure you guys watch this video is What instrument can you play, if any? If you don't play an instrument, that's okay. I used to play trumpet in middle school and stopped playing guitar a while ago. But anyway, that's your question. What instrument do you play, if any? And if you don't, what would you like to play? If you could go and be a professional at, what, what instrument would you like to play? That's it for today. Hope you guys are doing well, staying sane. And if you have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to uh, contact me. Have a good day.